Hi and welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Marina. So, this is going to be a 24 hour reading vlog. It is for the Cozy Christmas 24 hour readathon, which is quite a mouthful. Um, it's been hosted by Kiara Foster in conjunction with Penguin Pop Penguin Platform. Um, so it's st starting at 8 o'clock tonight, the 11th of December. <clears throat> and it's going until tomorrow at 8pm as well. Um, it just sounds super fun, cosy, Christmas vibes, you know, just the season and all that. Um, so there's a few prompts, I'm quickly going to go through them and then I will check back in with you at 8 o'clock. So the reading prompts. Um, there's read a festive book and read a book with cosy vibes. Um, these are the only two out of five prompts that involve books. And I have a selection here. So for, for the Christmas one, I'm going to go with A Very Murderous Christmas. Um, it's a collection of ten, uh, <coughs> sorry, ten crime stories written by various different authors. Um, which, yes, I think it'll be really fun. I know, like, crime doesn't really go Christmas, but I think it'll be fun having a different take on Christmas. Um, so yes, and I don't think it's too long either. Yeah, it's like 234 pages, so quite short, quite quick. And I like the idea of reading short story collections in 24-hour readathons, um, because you kind of get a bit of a variety in your reading, you know? So there is, oh, sorry, there is this. For the cosy one, and also Christmassy, I have two options. I either have Jenny Coggins, An Island Christmas, or I have Sarah Morgan, A Wedding in December, both Christmas. Christmas gives me cosy vibes, um, so I think I'll go with An Island Christmas, because it's, it's shorter, it's smaller. I think I'll go with this one and read this one another time, or if I finish the other two, these two books, I'll read this one. Um, so I'll prioritise this one because it'll actually tick off both of the reading prompts. Um, so I'll read this one first, is my plan, and then I'll go on to Very Marjorie's Christmas. So an island Christmas, I bought this and I have now discovered that actually it's part of a series. I don't know if it's like the fourth or the fifth, um, but I did see people's reviews saying like they hadn't read other ones. and. It might have taken a little bit a while to catch up when they got into it, but then it was fine. So I'm going to go ahead, read it, <coughs> and if I like it, I can go back and read it and kind of see the characters from the beginning. And I think she's released a second Christmas one now as part of this story. So it's an island um, off the coast of Scotland. I don't know if it says the name. Mull. Island. Oh no, Mull. Island of Muir, um, so it's got like a small town cozy vibes that kind of will remind me of Stars Hollow I think um, and yes it, it follows different characters um, there's somebody who's accidentally pregnant with their ex-boss's child um, there is um, a Syrian refugee there with his family and um, it's his first Christmas without his missing wife um, you know, it, it's just, it gives me Christmas vibes basically, um, cosy and cause Christmas makes me feel cosy and like I said, because it's on an island I've got a feeling it's going to give me that small time vibe like Stars Hollow and also it's set on an island off the coast of Scotland which is great um, so it sounds really fun and festive so prioritising this one and then this one and if for some reason I have time I might start this one. Um, so those are the reading prompts. There's also, let me just bring them up again, um, share your TBR on social media using Festive24, so I'll do that later on my bookstagram account. I'm on, I have 99 followers, I'm hoping I can reach 100 this weekend. Um, and make your favourite cosy hot drink, easy. I drink a lot of hot drinks, I like a good cup of tea. But I think I'm going to make a nice hot chocolate at some point in the 24 hours. And watch your favourite Christmas movie. I don't know which film I'm going to watch because 
so many Christmas films are my favourite. There's Elf, there's The Grinch with Jim Carrey, uh, Home Alone, Je Miracle on 34th Street. There's just so many. Um, so yeah, I'll decide later on. I'll probably watch it with my husband so he'll probably factor in to my decision making because he doesn't like Elf. I don't understand. <laughs> but yes, so I will check in with you later and give you all the Christmas and cozy vibes. I love Christmas. <laughs>
but yes the way it ends nicely but I do think you know I think there's another one after this you can tell that you know it's continuing but I think I will go back and start the series from the beginning because they are just really cute cozy warm vibes a lovely lovely little island um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to give it a three stars I did thoroughly enjoy it so that's great and I am going to go on to A Very Murderous Christmas and there's 10 short stories in here I believe and it's all written by different authors don't know what it tells me here yeah so there's various different authors um, they've written the different stories so I'm going to go on to that that will be great and I still have to watch a Christmas film and I think I'm going to have mulled wine a little bit later which will be really nice so I will catch up with you later. around Sherlock Holmes and Watson. This was with a little story to do with them. Um, I'm finding them okay so far. Um, I'll see if they get any better. Um, yes, yeah, so far, yeah, okay, I think it's okay. Um, but I'm hoping that they get a little bit better. I have had my mulled wine from my hot drinks. I can tick that off as one of the prompts. I have a mince pie. I have watched A Bad Man's Christmas as my Christmas film. And yes, An Island Christmas. I can use it to take off the both um, book prompts that I mentioned at the very beginning um, but I'm going to try and get through as much of this as I can um, so I kind of read two books in the period of time um, but yeah I'm really enjoying myself Christmas scene, you know, watching Christmas film, mulled wine, mince pies, Christmas jumper so yeah really enjoying myself, I'm going to get back to reading I have a few hours left, I have like two and a half hours left so I'm going to see how much I can get through this and yes making homemade pizza tonight for dinner which will be great so I'll check in with you later <laughs> I didn't get all the way through A Very Murderous Christmas, I got to the end of the story called Loopy. Um, there's only about that much of the book left and there is, there's four stories. Um, so there's a couple of stories that I've liked out of the six that I've read, um, which I thought were, were good. Um, and those were Crumble, Cram, Camberwell. Crackers, um, which was got through the Christmas Cracker Factory, I quite enjoyed that one. And then A Problem in White, which was kind of like a murder mystery on a train, which I enjoyed. The rest of them, uh, not so much. Um, I don't know, depending on how the last four story goes, depends if it's going to be a two star or a three star for me. Um, but at the moment, there's more stories that I didn't like than I did. 
um, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes through there. But like I said yesterday, An Island Christmas ticked off both book prompts for me anyway. So I've completed read a Christmas book, read a cosy book, make a, a hot drink or a festive hot drink which I had my mulled wine. Oh what else were there? There was also um drink post your TBR with the hashtag Festive24 so I did that and watch a Christmas film and I did that. So quite a successful 24 hours. I had a fun reading some Christmas stories which was nice and cute getting me in the festive mood and I really enjoyed it and yeah so thank you to Kiara for hosting this with uh, with Penguin's platform and I'll link down to her channel if you want to check her out I had fun really enjoyed this and I hopefully will see you in my next video cheers bye